Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel. Thanks a lot for the visit. If you could remember last month where this Delta Strike Force and the uh, Sergeant, is it Sergeant or Commander or Major Marine or whatever he calls himself, gave 48 hours ultimatum for disbursement and later Chief Okogu, they were talking to Ken Wakama and his cohorts, IGPG and everybody became afraid of this Niger Delta Strike Force. They came and uh, persuaded them that there will be disbursement August. Uh -huh. They calmed down. Now he has come up now and discovered that he has been scammed. So we will give you the update little by little. He came out and uh, said something. Then uh, um, Anya came out and uh, spoke something also who we'll unleash it little by little you know these people yeah should soon open the dawn is is the night is coming for them you know the night is coming for them because it's amazing in all this tumult ken has not come out to say the whereabout of his journey what he has been doing how far when are we expecting the money if there is money if there is no money he has not come out to say a word so just listen to this we we'll have a lot of information on loading because a lot of updates are coming you know what uh, supreme did now have triggered a lot of people everybody's on panic mode she has come to raise alarm that she has disbursed and i bet you nobody have gotten any money it's only our cohorts that came and celebrated that they have disbursed to themselves she said she disbursed to cluster heads and uh, the beneficiaries, you no, know, because come to think of it, is the cluster heads that you disburse to and they disburse to the beneficiary. You use the cluster heads detail to disburse to the beneficiary. So, why are you disbursing to cluster heads? Uh, cluster heads, you know, the whole thing is so complicated and won't put up, but they know what they are doing. So, just listen to the chief marine or this Niger Delta Strike Force. See on our next update, guys. Even if there is no money, let these people be brought to book for killing a lot of people directly and indirectly, for making a lot of people to have BP, and for wasting our time, resources, energy, and many things. Good afternoon to everyone hearing my voice now. Today is 13th day of. Uh, August 2024. And I'm speaking to you to clear some doubt in the minds of so many of us. And I want you to all to know that uh, this battle is not a battle for the physical, it is more of the spiritual here. And I want you all to know that me speaking to you, no one from among us here are finding it easy. And the gods working with us and being with us, I don't think we'll relent until we get it right and the money enters into the account of all Nigerians. One thing I want you all to know here, my people, is... Uh, Many of us, whether you know it or not, you must understand with me that Nigerian masses are really suffering. And their suffering seriously are really affecting a lot of things. Their homes, their lives, their emotions, their everything have been affected by what is happening. Why is it that so many of us are not really understanding all these things? When I hear some people talk, they talk based on their self. And that is what is called selfishness. That is what is called greed. If you are speaking, you are fighting for yourself alone, not for others. You are not the only one that subscribes to this grant. I'm not the only one that subscribed to this grant. So many Nigerian masses subscribed to this grant. And they did all these things with trust. Now, all their trust has failed them. We have all been disappointed. 
what you need to do next what you needed to do next is to see that the needful is being done what do i mean you need to now start fighting to see that you liberate you save these masses from this problem they have all found themselves into you cannot liberate them by noise making you cannot liberate them by talking too much and we cannot liberate them by giving up tomatoes giving up tomato who are you giving it to are you giving it to ghost or to human being or to spirit who are you giving up tomato to you get you are giving up tomato when you have not done anything regarding to releasing the money where it is it is the effort of every one of us to release this money from where this money is let me tell you even as an individual who has an account with the bank sometimes you may have problem with your account it will take you months before that your money is being released to you talk more of this kind of amount of money coming to me and you entering in the existing government not of any other country but our own dear country nigeria let me tell you this it's not as if our government are not doing what they're supposed to do but all they are doing are entering into wrong hands and when this is entered into wrong hands it is not left for the wisdom that place in man to profile now solution on getting these things out often times these things me and you are ranting and making us up and down maybe the city president may not have known about it may not have known that the particular assignment given has not been delivered or has not been taken care of or has not been followed properly how it's supposed to be everybody are looking for their own everybody are looking for their own and at that they are looking for the highest bidder they are looking for this they are looking for that somebody will be somewhere making noise let me tell all of you this if you want to make a voice note i'm making my own voice note because i am here struggling and i am working with my people to see that this money comes out for me and you not for myself alone i have never spoken as a person i have never spoken because i need this money more than others every one of us need this money and this money is going to solve a lot of problems and issues between me you and others so i want everybody to understand what we are talking about to here let us not be selfish let us not be looking as if we are now one small god somewhere making noise and they just giving ultimatum of what to happen and what not to happen let me tell you where your power stop is where other people who started or start from don't be anywhere and be making noise you will do this you will do that you will go for that mountain if not for that mountain this and that a lot of grand handlers has come and they are resting their homes you have you did nothing a lot of death has come and this kind of noise i heard it from so many people and today where are you where are they nothing happened so don't make noise come out let us fight it and bring this money out that's the only thing needed the only thing needed is come out wherever you are hiding don't make noise don't just send voice note come out come out wherever you are let us put our heads together and the go to the right source and bring this money out that's just what is needed it's not if you don't bring this money in the next 25 hours you don't bring this money in the next uh, one hour you don't bring this money in the next two days and this and that, this and that let me tell you nothing will happen nothing will happen the only thing that will happen is come out with your effort that thing you know come out with it let us go and get this money where it is that is just what is needed not noise not ranting and they may be claiming this and claiming that whatever you are claiming is in your pocket it's in your house it's in, it's in you there we don't need all those things what we need now is action that speaks louder than voice not voice action and those who see us here they know that we are not just talking but we are moving and taking actions these few days i know what we have done i know what we have done and we keep doing until the day this morning enters into our account don't make noise wherever you are 
and we are not even interested in all those noise you are making we ought to be interested in this that thing you know bring it out bring your idea bring your own wisdom let's put them together and move to the right channel proper channel and let this thing come out we know what is holding this all of them who are in abuja here and those who are in the state those who are fighting genuinely they know what is the problem and that problem is what we are fighting to see that we prefer solution to it the government of the day headed by our own amiable president Bola Ahmed Tunubu are doing their own best too if we go into detail and find out you discover that majority of the problem me and you are having today the hardship and everything are not even from the central government go and trace it to your state and to your local government you discover that most of these problems are coming from all these places when things are being passed is the question because the problem and even you talking the same problem lies on your own table too so when you talk don't talk as if you are a saint don't talk as if you, can, you have never committed anything but talk as if you are fighting and you have passion for the masses you are fighting for nobody is an island here and nobody is an in, is the most innocent person here everybody everybody need to come out everyone need to come out voice notes are too much and let me clear this once again because i know how debunked this for those who have no ear but they don't hear nobody has made anybody country director from anywhere i speaking to you is ambassador dr pascal Anyangu. i am never a country director and i will not be i am not i will not claim what i am not nobody has elected any country director from anywhere that devil that came to speak and gave that voice note came from a pit of hell nobody sent that devil that message no because the person is a devil he's an evil spirit he's from the pit of hell nobody sends such person any message i am never a country director and i have never claimed to be one and i am not apostle professor ambassador ken wakama remains the country director of uaag period and final full stop if you get here here if you don't have throw it away that is your business let us face reality let us not let us not be distracted here let us not be distracted please all the genuine fighters here i beg all of you we have plans on ground and i want our plan to be executed if you actually know you want to be among the next plan we have to see that this money comes out any moment from now from now please put call across we have plan on ground to execute and this time around as you know me and you know my pattern of doing my things i may not be announcing to you the next action to be taken but for them who want to be part of it fine and good if you want to be part of it please respond let us move we are not in any way begging anybody to come or not to come whether you come whether you don't come the matter will go on the process will continue I must continue to press button until this thing comes out this money comes out if you are, if the pen of the master are not touching you it is touching me seriously because i know how many costs are receiving a day what is the time now this is about 12 32. i know how many costs i've received since money till now pens of the people problem of the people in fact a lot of bodies on the people every minute every second my phone is answering calls if the yearnings of the people and the pains of the master are not touching you it is touching me seriously and i'm not happy anymore about it let us please stop putting more salt into 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 that, that into an injury this man apostle ken wakama the country director is a man like me and you is a human being like me and you this man is suffering he's suffering let us let us not increase let us not be increasing the pain he promised us money he promised us money he don't promise us money 
He promised you money. If that money is in his hand today, he will give it to you. The money has not entered his hand. So he wanted to, sh to share his blood and give you. Please, let us be reasonable here. Let us be reasonable as human beings. Let us be reasonable as human beings. And I have said it and I'm repeating it again to you. All of you today who is hearing me, who are hearing my voice. Please, again and again and again, do not release your dime to anybody in the name of grant or the name of disbursement or whatever. Please, don't release your money to anybody. Anybody, no matter how genuine you think that thing is, until that line is given. Until you get approval. I think all those instructions in the name of disbursement to happen today, tomorrow, this and that, it has to stop. It has to stop. Can we please control ourselves and stop being too forward? When you hear anything, your body is shaking. You want to do. At the end, you look. You start looking for who to blame. Can we be coordinated? Can we respect ourselves? And can we work with directions? Ask questions before you do anything. If you have enough money to throw away, please. There are people that need it. Call me. I have one or two persons. You can send that money to me. I will give it. A lot of them are calling me. They are hungry. People are hungry. So many people have been displaced. So many people are seriously in financial problem. Some are sick in the hospital. Some cannot even go. A lot of them look at their children out of school. They don't have house to live. So many things. If you have any help to give, please call. Let us give it to these people. They need our help. Stop sending your money to any grand handler again. Don't send any copper to them. If there's any money they have to give, let everything be done properly. Let the money be given. Don't send money to anybody. Pay this cobo, pay that cobo, pay the other cobo. Don't give even a dime to anybody. I'm telling you this now. If you go ahead and give, please don't call me for any clarification. I will not clear you because I don't have anything to clear you from. I never tell you I have any money to give you. Don't call me for any clarification. We have been having meeting, round table meeting, and all that to discuss on a better way to handle all these things. If you go ahead and start paying your money, you're on your own. I'm telling you this. I beg all of you. Our genuine fighters here, I beg all of you, let us respect ourselves. Let us respect ourselves. Chief Akogu never said anything wrong that some people come and say, he promised us, he promised you that. Yes, he promised you based on the efforts we have made so far. We have been moving, we have been trying to see how things works. And we know that it's light into what we are doing. If he come and tell you to calm down, he never said anything wrong. He never said anything wrong. Let us try to respect what we are doing, for God's sake. Let us respect what you are doing. Let us respect people. Don't just come out because you just wake up one day and body tell you to talk. Then you open your phone and start talking anything you want to talk. Start abusing people anyhow you want to abuse. Please. The person you abuse is also a man like you. He's a human being like you. Stop it. Let us stop it now. Let us stop abusing people. Nobody has come up to abuse you. Please let us stop abusing others. I don't know. I don't know the power you have more than anybody. You, do, you don't have any power more than anybody. Respect, they say it's a reciprocal. Respect others. So that respect can come back to you. It's period. I beg all of you, let us calm down. Everything is fine by his grace. And we are going to get this money. Money is not easy to get. Talk more of this type. And the day this money will enter, that's when, you, when we know who is who. Now everybody need money, need money, need money. By the time the money is come now, everybody will disappear to your territory Israel. You have gotten the money. Fine and good. Then I still know that the faithful will still continue in the work of charity and in the work for the masses i beg all of you please nothing has gone wrong we are still working day and night this money will come out that is progress into what we are doing very big progress into what we are doing if something is not gotten right yesterday and we start getting it right today i think we need to exercise more patience that's what we need what needed for most now is just be patient instead of ranting looking for who to abuse please go to god in prayers Go to God in prayers. Pray and pray for the federal government of Nigeria. Pray for whoever is responsible for this delay. Pray. However, you want to channel your prayer point, please put it that way. All we need is this money to come out. That's all we needed. We don't need so many noise. We don't need to be, we don't need abuse. We don't need insult. And again, I am not the country director of UAAG. This is me, Ambassador Dr. Pascal Anyangu. I am not the country director of UAAG. And I never one day claimed it. 
or say it anywhere and nobody has given me such position and i don't think it is possible to give person another person's position because country director in anything is not being given by anybody it is originated from the grassroots so i don't think it's by election i beg all of you it's not by any election so the person that this whole thing lies upon as our country director is apostle ambassador professor dr ken Wakama. nobody else any other person claiming it is a thief is thiefing for what doesn't be lost to him or her i tell all of you so please please let us work for this money to come nothing more nothing less nothing more nothing less we want this money to come out and that is where we stand masses all ceos all state chapters of ceos the chairman the executives of all ceos please let us all get up let us all fight our people need liberation financial liberation and we must give it to them please we need to join hands together let us don't mind distractions and nobody should be distracted and don't let anybody distract you we're on a course and god will help us to achieve it thank you and god bless you all i remain your own leader and the capacity leader who will never stop but we get there ambassador dr pascal Anyamu, do have a lovely day thank you all